Hello and welcome to another video. So this week I will be planning out the week of August the 17th through August the 23rd. What you see on the screen here is how last week turned out. I didn't really go into fill it that much. I mentioned that in my voiceover for that video last week. So what you see there is pretty much what was there at the end of the filming of that last video and then not much got added. For this week, I am using this principle from Planning with K. So Planning with K is a bullet journaler who has a YouTube channel, an Etsy shop, and a Patreon. And this principle was from when I was part of her Patreon. So I printed these out. It's been a year now since I got this printable, since I was bullet journaling. But at the time, I printed this out, thought I was going to use it, and then forgot where I put these printable sheets and so I recently found them and the day that I was filming this video I did not want to spend a super large chunk of time putting together a spread and so I decided to just lay these down and work off of that and see what I could put together from that. This technique here that I'm using to put down the stickers, it has changed my life. I learned it from LJ Jumble, she has a channel on YouTube, also on Etsy shop. I can't remember which video of hers has this technique explained in it. I think it's one of her monthly setup videos, one of the recent ones. And it has changed my life, basically, so that you can lay down this really big sticker straight. You're not taking off all of the backing of the sticker, you only take off a little bit of the backing and then you lay that part down and then you rip away the rest and it just lays down perfectly. It's beautiful, I've used it like three times now and I love it. So that's what's happening here and I'm just fighting to make sure that I can get the backing off the way I want it to. And so I put the left hand page down and now the right hand page. This is a vertical columns kind of layout with her cherry blossoms theme. So that's what I'm working off of and with that out of the way we will move into the time lapse. So having these stickers as being the main part of my spread really made this super easy to put together and I tried to do a couple of things to make it more like interesting or to try to get a little more creative. That didn't work. None of them worked. I really should have left this page as is and just started to write on top of it. Instead, I added some things and ultimately this was not one of my favorite layouts but that has nothing to do with the thing that I was using, the actual template, it was just I added some things and I, I didn't like how they worked out. So first I put the week that we're on, August the 17th to the 23rd. I really like how that lettering came out, so that's not one of the things that I'm talking about. I haven't used my Tombow Food and Osuka pens in a while because they're starting to run out of ink and I need to buy more but I just haven't done it yet so I kind of avoid them because it's I have to press down really hard to get enough ink out otherwise they start to skip because they're old. I've had them for at least two years, maybe a little longer and at the beginning of those two years I was bullet journaling and doing them using them a lot so they they're they're running out of ink. And then here I'm just trying to figure out where to lay things down because at this point it's like do I want to add anything more? Do I not want to add anything more? I was really sad that there wasn't space for like more stickers but I also didn't have many stickers that I wanted to work with which is another reason why I used this printable because I had no idea what I wanted to do but ultimately I put these heart scallop checklists over on the task section which I use as a this week section they're kind of interchangeable um, the way this task section is set out and then the way I usually use my this week section so I ultimately put things that I want to keep on my mind for the week over there. And then at the bottom, I added this 10 millimeter Coffee Monsters Co. Emoji onesie washi tape. I really like it. It's from the recent pre-order and I decided to use it because I didn't know what else to put down there and the gaps were too much. Like I thought they looked weird. So I put that down there and then at the top, I grabbed this gold foil bow header washi tape. I thought that the background was more pink than it was. It's actually more of a peach and so I don't actually like the way this looks and I change it later but for now that's what I thought I wanted to do and I put that at the top. There's still the awkwardly large space over on the far left but 
I didn't know what I could do for that. I didn't want to completely surround the page with washi tape because then there would be too much on the page and as it is, there ended up being too much on the page. So I decided to write in different colored markers just to add more color to the page and also have this whole video not just be me writing everything in with black pen and then it being over. But that's what I should have done because I don't like the way this marker stuff came out. But basically, I start by writing that on Monday we had new student orientation. That didn't really affect me. I had to film a short 30 second intro video last week that I submitted to the student council who is hosting the new student orientation and that was all done on Zoom. But I just made that note that, that was happening. Then from 9 to 10, I had a student support meeting. And then from 10.30 to noon, I had a meeting with my division. So my school is a K through 12 school and we're divided into three divisions. And so the high school is a certain division and that's just like a big faculty meeting essentially with my division. And then I did these alternating dots to make little bullet points for extra to do's and things that might come up. And then at the very, very bottom, I marked that my YouTube video for this day was the plan with me from the previous week. So that's basically the extent of my Monday. On Tuesday, I write that I have two meetings on Tuesday. Tuesday was very, very long because I had two one to one and a half almost two hour zoom meetings for like just student support plans for different grade levels and i teach across all the grade levels so 9 through 12 which means that i had to go to both meetings and that was a long day i got tired of sitting down but that was also the only thing that was really happening on that day so tuesday just gets filled in with some checklist spaces then Wednesday, I marked that I was going to have my teacher planner set up go live on Wednesday. I changed that around completely. I moved that to Friday and the Wednesday video ended up being the teacher tote review video, which was a lot of fun to film. And then Wednesday didn't really have any appointments on it, so I just put this bulleted checklist there. And then my washi pre-order came with a little decal of an emoji in a onesie that says I love washi and I would have no idea where to put that or what to do with it so ultimately it gets put in this big space right there. I think I was testing it earlier but later in the video I commit to placing it down there. And Wednesday there weren't really meetings going on because Thursday classes started so Wednesday was a really big planning day. It was pretty hard. I ended up being in a meeting with my co-teachers for this first three week term for like four hours where we just sat and talked and talked and talked about the course and how we were going to grade and what the first few days were going to look like in more detail than we have previously. And it was a lot. I had a headache by the end of it. We needed to do it and like it was super informational. I think we got a lot done, but wow, it was exhausting. But at least we had that time, right? Because then classes started on Thursday. So I marked that with this little emoji sticker. It's an emoji with an ice cream cone. And technically that has nothing to do with what was going on. But I was just working off of the random freebie that I hadn't put away. So this little decal is a freebie that I hadn't put away. So I just stuck that down. And then the emoji sticker is from the monthly freebie. I think it was the July freebie sheet. And... I just had it so I decided to stick it down. Then I marked that the 20th is when I get paid and that was my last paycheck from my previous school and my previous contract that's like over now. And then my next paycheck isn't until September the 15th so that's interesting because it's a long time from now but I think it will all work out. Then the last thing I marked was that I had an appointment on Thursday afternoon. And then I filled in the space with room for checklists and extra notes. On to Friday, I had no appointments on Friday. That was just the next class day. And so we have a schedule for our class and it involves about two live synchronous Zoom sessions a day and then independent work in the middle for the students and then, you know, grading and planning and prep work for the teachers. So that's basically what was going on on Friday. I marked that my 
Fires of Heaven vlog was going to go up that day, the next book in the Wheel of Time. I haven't even filmed the ending of that video. I finished the book weeks ago and I haven't concluded the video. So that did not go up. I changed my schedule. On the weekend, I put down the checklists. Then I had two bills coming out on Saturday. And then this little emoji sleeping on a beach from the freebie sheet. Again, not really related to anything, but I figured it was fitting to put on the weekend because I would be like resting on the weekend. Last weekend, I went onto campus on Saturday for like three hours to do a bit more setup in my classroom. But this weekend, I was like, no, I'm tired. So I didn't do anything on Saturday and that was pretty fun. So that was nice, and that's kind of what that sticker is meant to represent. Also on Saturday, I planned to film a plan with me. That happened. I planned to call my parents. That hasn't happened yet. It's now Sunday, but I'll do it later. And then on Sunday, I planned to call my sister, but I moved that to Monday because I really want to be able to FaceTime her at the very end of the day and show her what my classroom and some of the building looks like at my new job. So I moved all that around. And then on Wednesday, I'm just adding some goals that I had that I didn't actually really get to. There are a couple of training modules I need to get through for work. And I didn't do them on Wednesday, but I did do them by the end of the week. And then I need to put together some statistics lessons for my portion of the fall intensive course because we have teachers across different disciplines teaching it. And I'm there as like, the math representative and for this course I need to teach the students some basic statistics and I need to put that lesson together. I thought I would do it at the beginning of the week and then I didn't because when I wasn't in a Zoom meeting I was exhausted and was like walking around the building because I was so tired of sitting down. So didn't quite get to that. Filling in some tasks for the week. I need to update my car insurance. I have a new driver's license number because I got a new driver's license. We have new license plates on our car because we had to update that. So that has to be updated. A few things for work, training modules, um, HR papers, some classroom setup. And I wanted to finish Time of Contempt this week. I haven't even finished that. My August wrap up and fall TBR video will go up later this week. It's wild, it's a mess. I haven't read anything. So that was another goal for this week that can still happen but has not happened as of 9 a.m. on Sunday. So that's basically the whole of this plan with me. I don't know, I might add one or two more things for the week but for the most part that's what this spread came out like. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm glad that I can turn the page and start a new week because I didn't like the colored markers. The emoji washi tape got on my nerves because I put too much of it on the page. No, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. So we're done. So if you got this far, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.